Hey everybody, welcome back to Vikings Gone Wild as they continue. Continue to go wild, I say. So we're starting the next round. Everybody draws their starting hand of five cards and we do production. So come back over here to my brewery. Wah! I've just made extra beer. Hooray! And if I don't use this beer at the end of the round, I will get to store it. Um, and let's see, so I draw my hand of five. Of course, this is the second round, so I already everybody knows because you can see what I played. So my, my other hand has beer, 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 and gold. Okay, Jen's starting hand, if I recall correctly, is going to have two gold in it because she didn't see her gold in the first turn. And um, yep, there's two gold, there's a Viking, so that Viking is maybe three gold and two beer. And Jen is the first player. So what is she going to do? Well, first of all, this turn. Well, she wants to attack zombies out in Odin's Path, but none have shown up, so she's going to pass on that. She is going to spend at least two gold, though, to get her money money done. Um, let's see. So, how is that going to work? She has two gold, and she could... Well, first of all, her Viking warrior is going to attack the zombie, which gives her another either gold or beer. So, what is she thinking she wants to buy? You know, I think she's going to take another beer. So, now she has three total beer. And with her three beer, she will buy a gold mine. A mine! Which, again, is under construction right now, so it's not going to produce. I'm, I'm producing um, beer. Jen is producing gold. So see how well that works out for her. And now she has two gold left over, uh, which she hasn't spent anything on. And with two gold, you know what? Uh, I think she is going to build a brewery. So Jen is producing a little bit of everything. Jen has two buildings built. And you may recall, we have, there are six points on the line for whoever has built the most buildings by the end of the game. So I've built two buildings. Jen has built two buildings. And, uh, and that was it. So Jen has played all of her cards. She didn't hold any left over. And so, oh, but she completed her money, money mission. So she is on the board with one victory point. She draws a new mission card. And it is Explore. Oh, see, I've got Exploration, which is I just have to buy one of these cards. Jen's Explorer is buy at least two in the same turn. So mine is, is easier, which is kind of weird that we both um, get one point for doing the exact same thing. But Jen has to work a little bit harder for it. Anyway, so now it's my turn. Let's see what's in my uh, hand. I've totally forgotten. Three beer, four beer and a gold. Okay. And I want, I'm thirsty, so I want to spend at least three beer. I'm totally going to do that now because I got four beer and I've got one gold. What can I do with one gold? Not a whole heck of a lot. I could buy a beer container, but remember, I have a maximum. I can only have five buildings. So buying a whole bunch of beer containers um, isn't going to really do me much good if I'm not producing enough beer to fill them up. So uh, I don't want to waste one of my... Although, hey, look at this. There's a chicken tower um, that costs one. So I think I'm going to spend one gold to buy the chicken tower, which is adorable. I'm sure this is from the video game. How do you defend yourself? By shooting chickens at the enemies. I'm sure they're fine, honey pie, don't worry. But God. So this cost my one gold, that goes in my discard pile, and I've still got four beer to spend. All right, oh, but as soon as I buy, everything slides down, so maybe that'll give me some more options. Mm, okay, so I've got a shaman, two shaman to buy, and the way they work, they're a unit, they are only, um, they're interesting. They are a level one attacker, like your Vikings you start with, but instead you could draw two cards. So it means you can burn through your deck faster. So that's pretty cool. With my four beer, am I going to hire a shaman? I could hire an elf, and that would give me one beer left over, which, isn't a, which could give me a... Ooh. You know what? Jen, she went in heavy for that bone crusher, and I could go the way of peace. I don't have to attack at all. There are other ways to score points in this game. Or I could buy the Elf Archer, so I have a more powerful unit. That'd be three plus one for the Mystery Gift. That's always good fun. But this Mystery Gift says when I play it, I draw the next card from my deck. And if it's an attack card, I earn one victory point. So this Mystery Gift is best put into a deck that has a lot of attack cards. So if I buy this, I, that means I'm probably going to go down the route of attacking a lot. And maybe I don't want to. Maybe I just want to be a peaceful brewer. In which case... I will spend my four beer instead to hire this shaman who was about to um, shuffle right off the board anyway. And my cards don't go to the discard pile. They get, you, they get left out. So anyway, I hired him. And because I spent at least three beer, I am no longer thirsty. I have completed that mission and I get another new one. 
innkeeper, buy a tavern. Now, that's a tough one because you need five gold to buy a tavern. That's a big ask early in the game. And that's five gold. A tavern increases your hand size by one, but five gold could also increase your town hall so you could have more buildings. So that is interesting. But anyway, so I played all of my cards. Jen's played all of her cards. And now at the end of the turn, remember, after we're, everybody's done, we do storage. So I had this beer. I had another beer I could have spent, but I didn't spend it. Instead, I saved it so I can store it. And now, so that's good. I'm on my way to earning a point every round for having four beers stored. But here's the danger. If Jen attacks... Now, this is a really interesting thing. If Jen attacks my town hall, I don't really mind. She gets two points. I don't really care. Um, if Jen attacks my brewery... Well, basically... The main reason some, a player attacks another player is the more buildings you successfully attack in a turn, the more points you get. If Jen launches a big attack and attacks my brewery and attacks my town halls and successful at both, that will have been two attacks, so that's three points plus two bonus points for hitting my town hall. So that's pretty good, but it's just points. It doesn't hurt me. But you will notice on a beer container and on a gold container, if you get attacked, instead of the player getting bonus points, they steal some of your cubes, and that's no bueno. So I have put this here. I'm starting to build up to earn points. But Jen, if she attacks my beer container, which has a defense of three, then she could steal my beer right out from underneath me. All right, so that was, so I have stored, right? So we've done storage. And now once again, it's the end of the turn, everybody discards their cards. And it's interesting, you can discard your cards as you go. Oh, and of course, you know, Jen's construction on her two buildings is done. So... The only, um, it, there's, as, as I've seen, there is one divine favor that if somebody gets it, that means they can copy the powers of other players. And that, I think, is really the only reason you can't discard cards. But still, it's important that you don't redraw your cards because a big part of the game is bluffing. You, you don't play a card, you hold on to it, your opponent thinks it's defense, and then they decide, well, maybe I shouldn't attack. Maybe I should attack someplace else. But anyway, so we have... All right, we're going to switch back over. And um, we move everything over. And now we are on to the third round, and both our decks are empty, so we're going to have to reshuffle them. And we hope that we pull out some of those cool new cards that we've bought so far. So let's just take a look and see what our starting hand is. One, two, three, four, five for me. Oh, I did not. I just got a boring hand. I didn't get any of the cool cards I bought, which I have to admit, by this point, I totally forgot what my cool cards are. Let's see what Jen gets. All right, because she's hoping to find this bone crusher she hired. Right, is that the only card she... Oh, yeah, oh, because we only hop, buy, buy... We built buildings instead of buying a lot of cards. Jen hopes she gets that bone crusher. All right, so... Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Never a kerfuffle. This is my shuffling song. Bump, bump. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. And... Bone crusher. Oh, Jen's going to... Oh, and a Viking warrior. Jen's got two warriors. She's going to bring the pain this round. Okay. Like I said, well, we'll see what happens. So that's it. Um, we've drawn. We produce. I produce one beer. Jen produces one beer and one gold. All right. Although Jen can't store hers, whereas me, if I don't use this beer, I'll store it and I'll get closer to having a full container. And now we move on. So I've got one Viking warrior, a single warrior by himself. Well, I have a choice. I can attack the zombie like we've been doing to get a, a thing. Or... I could attack Jen's gold factory. Now, you'll notice it doesn't say I can steal the gold. I won't steal the gold, but successfully attacking her place, that will give me a single attack on a turn. Gives me one point. So this warrior, I have a choice. Do I spend him to get a point by attacking Jen's stuff, or do I spend him to get another uh, resource so I've got more things? Uh, here's the thing, of course, Jen's got a full hand of cards. Does she have any defense cards in her hands? Now, we know she doesn't because she didn't buy any last round. So I am totally safe. So let's figure out, uh, let's see, what do I got? I've got uh, three beer and a gold. Now that's not much to buy. If I had four beer, I'd probably, but just a single gold by itself is not that great. Let's see, uh, a single gold won't really do anything for me. Whereas at least if I have two gold, I could buy another brewery, so I'd double my beer production. Um, so, but then, so what do I do? Well, I can attack with this guy. And that gives me a uh, gold. So then I've got two gold, so I can buy another brewery. Heck, I could have three gold if I to convert two beer into a brewery. That'd be three gold. But I want five gold, so I can buy the inn and complete my or the tavern and complete my innkeeper thing. But I'll, also I have exploration. I just want to buy something up here so I can complete my exploration. Right. So 
Well, okay, with that in mind then, I believe I am gonna, 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 let's see. Well, I, I would like to get another brewery. So I will, ooh. oh, I like that. Okay, I am gonna have my warrior not attack the zombie for a resource. I'm gonna attack Jen's gold factory. And now I declare it, Jen now has the opportunity to reveal a de defense card and defend herself, but she doesn't. She just says, okay, go ahead and do it. So I've hit her gold factory, which scores me one point. And that's all this guy did. And now I'm going to convert two beer into a gold. So I've got two gold. With two gold, I'm going to buy my second brewery. Remember, you can have up to three of a given type of building. And um, then with one beer left over, I'm going to go ahead and buy this mystery gift. It's not the greatest because I'm not planning on getting a lot of weapon cards in my deck. Um, although, remember, there is Conqueror. Whoever has the most weapon cards in their deck, you know, or fighter cards, I should say, gets six points. But anyway, so I bought this. And because I bought from the Odin's Path, I was a mighty explorer. I've done some exploration, and I've scored another point. And so that was my turn, and I used all my cards. I'm not holding any left over. And now it's Jen's turn. And here's where she reveals her Viking self and goes a little wild. The Bone Crusher does four. That's enough for Jen to out and out attack my town hall. Um, now, Jen still needs to get a zombie from the main board, but there aren't any there. So I think Jen's going to declare an attack on me with the Bone Crusher and the Viking Warrior. They're both coming over my way. Now, um, so... Now, you can combine multiple guys onto one attack, or you can split them up. Jen's going to have her Bone Crusher attack my Town Hall, and she will have her um, Viking Warrior attack my Beer Container. No, not... Ooh, okay. Jen could have her, Viking, her Bone Crusher attack my Beer Container, which has a defense of three, so four. So Jen could steal this beer from me, which gives her more beer that she could spend this very turn. Or she could attack my Town Hall, which gives her two extra victory points. Now, this is how mean does she want to be? Does she want to steal my beer? You know what? She's not too terribly worried about it, right? Uh, let's see. Well, actually, what's she going to have left over? After she's done with all her attacking, she's going to have two beer and a gold. So maybe she does want to steal a beer from me. Can she buy anything for two beer? You know what she can? She can get that crystal. So she's not going to steal my beer right now. She's feeling magnanimous. Instead, the Bone Crusher will attack the Town Hall. The Viking Warrior will attack, let's say, the Brewery. Okay. Now, I have the chance to show defense cards. I don't have any. So Jen was successful. Um, and since she has successfully attacked two buildings, like I said earlier, that's three points plus four, five is puts her up to six. So Jen just scored six points from these two attacks. And you will notice she just passed this little filigree chevroni thing. When you hit five points, 12 points and 20 points, you get a divine favor and add it to your deck. Jen is the first. So Jen can take this treasure chest, she can take Fenrir, or she gets to look at the one at the top of the deck. Beer taxes. All other players have to give you beer if possible. Now this is not a very good card in a two-player game because of course, there's, I mean, if you're playing with a full player count of four players, yeah, that's three beer you're going to get every turn. So that's useful, but beer taxes is not so great in a two-player game. So Jen, um, Fenrir is another strong attacker, a, B, a, a attack of three, and can attack two buildings instead of one. So if Jen really wants to keep doubling down on the warfare, and she might want to, because there's six points to be had for being the ultimate conqueror. So she can get Fenrir, or this treasure chest is awesome too. Four wild cards. That is huge. But you know what? I think Jen's got a taste for blood now, so she's going to take Fenrir. He goes into the discard pile, and then the other card that Jen saw... The beer taxes comes out. No one's going to want that. This is a terrible card in a two-player game. I really, it feels like it should be balanced um, because no one's ever going to want that in a million years. Uh, just to, to take a card that lets you get one. Anyway, uh, there's, well, I'll talk about that in Final Thoughts. But anyway, so Jen's attacked with those two guys. She's scored big points. She's gotten divine favor. And, um, right. So then she's still got two beer and a gold to spend. And what was it going to be? I've totally forgotten. Oh, right. The gold will be to buy her own beer container because she is producing stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, no, but she's got gold left over. If she doesn't spend this gold, then... Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know what Jen's going to do. It's perfect. She's uh, one gold to buy the beer container and two beer to buy the gold container. And so now she will have space to store her excess stuff. All righty. Nice. Okay. And so Jen will, that's what Jen played. 
And she did not uh, complete her explorer, which is buying two things from up here, but that's okay. She still had a pretty good turn. And now, at the end of the round, once again, a uh, card goes away. Everything slides down. The first player marker turn changes hands. We discard our cards because we're going to draw new ones. Um, and, oh, this, uh, my brewery was under construction. So Jen's beer container and gold container are under construction too. But, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's a problem. I didn't think about that. Let's see. Because when Jen built this, these two containers, they were under construction. And here's the thing. She has to store her excess stuff before the construction is complete. So Jen's going to lose these two things. So she really should have spent that extra gold and that extra beer. Um, let's see. What was the card that was still out at that point? It was a crystal for two. Let's see. <laughs> so... Oh, what the heck with it? I mean, this, this sword was out. She'll say she bought the sword, which increases her attack power, uh, for the one beer. And she put that in her discard. And she wasted the gold. That's my own fault. She had enough gold. She could have done something else with it. Like, instead of buying this beer container... Actually, yeah. Instead of having bought this beer container with one gold, which is what she did, she had two gold because she had the stuff in her factory. And with two gold, she bought herself a, another brewery to up her production. All right, so she's producing two beer, one gold, and um, right. And so now, at the end of the turn, the, you know, these things are completed construction. So now she's producing three things, storing one. I get to store this successfully, so I'm getting closer to having bonus points for storage. And the player marker turns, and so once again, we draw five cards. And um, we get to, oh, and then there's a zombie. Jen De oh, and Jen's first player. But I think she just drew all of her Vikings. No, she just has one Viking now in her deck, I think. And she needs two to be able to get that zombie. And I know she wants that zombie because I can see she's got that goal. But she's only got one warrior, so she won't be able to go for that zombie. She's going to hope it sticks around for a little while, um, you know, that I won't be able to attack it, so she can complete her mission of defeating that zombie. But in the meantime, she is, all right, in the meantime, she is, every turn, producing one gold and two beer. And she'll be able to start storing that gold now. And I am producing two beer. Okay. And so, on the next round, she's going to be first. She has a gold, three beer. I, well, one, two, oops, ah, I drew too many. One, two, three, four, five, because, of course, uh, there's more stuff in the deck. So, Jen has a warrior and four beer this turn, which could buy her a beer specialist. Or with the warrior, she could get a fifth beer. With a fifth beer, she could get a bone crusher. Oh, my, you know, that's totally what she's going to do. She's going to get another bone crusher and continue to build the most powerful army that Vikings Gone Wild has ever seen, so she can get that Conqueror bonus. Me, I've got one, two, three, four, five. On my turn, I've got my Shaman. I could use it to try and attack and score some points, but instead, I'm sure I'll just use him to draw two more cards, because I'm trying to go peaceful-like, which means I will have used him for that. And that means I've got two beer, my Warrior, which can be another good, my Chicken Tower. Now, this is a card I want to hold in my hand to add to defense. When Jen thinks she's just going to be able to run roughshod over me, I got this chicken tower in my hand. I can surprise her. But, which means maybe this turn, I want to build the Drakkar so I can hold this in my hand and not have to discard it at the end of the turn if I don't use it. So, that's probably, I'm eyeballing that because it's going to cost me three beer. I've got... Well, I've got two. I've got three beer with this Viking, and then I've got two gold, which could buy me another brewery, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera, or could buy me a cannon, which could cost me two. So I can start um, putting up a good defense for Jen's offense. Because if I just saw Jen buy another Bone Crusher, you better believe I'm going to start buying defense. Because hey, there's six points to be had for whoever has built the most defense. So the, this Viking Cold War is starting to take shape and will continue to evolve over the course of the game. Now the game keeps going until, well, if you're playing with um, three or four players, no, if you're playing with four players, the game ends once somebody gets to 30 points. With two or three, it ends when somebody gets to 40 points. And so it's a race to get to, uh, to, to trigger the end of the game. And then you tally up points for uh, various things at the end of the game. But that's it, folks. In a nutshell, that is Vikings Gone Wild. And now, if you'd like to hear some final thoughts, you can hit the I up in the top right corner of the screen or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.